Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So today is part three of prepping the Megalitoceros. So it is slowly getting there and hopefully it won't be many more parts, but yeah, I'm ready for this one to be done. And the sun is out. I'm sure a lot of you, if you are in England, it's been a really nice day and uh, hopefully the weekend will continue for Easter. So happy Easter everyone. And I thought I had to wear something colorful to represent that we are in well, we're in double figures temperature, but also in 20 degrees. Well, just 20, but I'm taking it. To me, that's that's summer, so the colours come out. Anyway, so I'm going to continue the prep on this one. I'll bring you guys closer now so you can see what we have left to do. But um, hopefully, we're going to get there. This inner whirl here is slowly getting exposed, and I'm just hoping this is going to, like, once I start getting around the edges of it properly, it's just going to almost pop but I think I'm being very optimistic and it'll probably be an absolute nightmare to get out. But I'm just gonna kind of attack it bit by bit and hopefully we can get rid of that. But today I also wanna try and get rid of all of this kind of residue here so that that's all fully kind of prepped and then slowly make my way round to the big bit here. But it is so hard. I tried earlier today with like a nail and a hammer to see if that would break it up a bit quicker than my Dremel generally didn't even make a dent so the dremel is a lifesaver it is actually eating away at this because it's a really really hard matrix um but we're getting there we are slowly getting there but how magnificent is that i mean it's my favorite i think it's going to be my favorite fossil i ever find like this is just i love it so much here you can see the size comparison like this is a big fossil and it weighs an absolute ton but I just thought I'd show you the whole piece because it is a spectacular piece like once I finish prepping it I'm gonna try and find a local blacksmith to actually make like a custom kind of metal and concrete stand for it because I think it's just it's gonna be one of those pieces I treasure forever and I think a good stand is really important to really kind of put it on display but also safely on display you know I don't want to damage this fossil or anything else in the house to be fair because it weighs a lot so it needs it needs support. <laughs> so before I start, I just thought I would mention a little bit about safety. I always try and put it in, especially when I'm using electric tools, but this also goes if you're using a hammer and a chisel or a hammer and a nail, always have some form of eye protection. I just wear my glasses because I find it's very fine dust, but you can get proper goggles if you are worried. And also a face mask of some sort because you, it, it makes a lot of fine dust, even if you're using a hammer and a nail, but especially with like a Dremel or an air tool and you don't want to be inhaling that. So face protection and eye protection is really important. And also if you want to, you can wear gloves as well. So just keep that in mind when using these things because it's a really fun hobby, but there are a few precautions that you should take beforehand.
So this is where I'm leaving it for today. So I made quite a lot of progress, I think. So you can see that I cleared up all this whirl here and now we just have this like main lump in the middle. And it would be a dream if this just pops off. But um, I don't think that's gonna happen because this is just so hard. Like I'm just trying to like de decrease the thickness of it bit by bit so, I, so that I can actually like get into the edges. But it looks like, I mean, so far the whirls are still there. So whether or not there's a center, I can't say yet, but it's looking promising for now but I think it's starting to clear up really nicely so I still have some patches here that I need to get rid of but um this is the yeah I just wish I could like pick it off but it's just yeah it's welded on there but progress has been made so that's Fossil Friday for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. But I think we made a lot of progress today. Like I'm starting to see the finish line. So there's still probably quite a few parts to this uh, project to go. But um, it's, it's definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Have a lovely Easter. And um, yeah, I'll link my Instagram down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But hopefully I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.